would definitely say that uh, I connect deeply with the harmonica uh, as opposed to some other instruments. And I think that's in part because it incorporates your wind. And so if I'm hearing a lick that I want to play, but I might almost be out of air, you kind of got to earn it or you got to figure out how to play it. And uh, I think incorporating not only just your will and your want and what you hear in your ears, but also the wind in your lungs makes you into a little bit of a soul player playing harp. I play harmonica as a means to uh, express myself, as a means to deal and cope with some of the unfortunate things that uh, I've seen. The harmonica really just helps me express my emotion. I had this honest dream as a kid about harmonica, and I hadn't played one to that point, hadn't held one in my hands, but I heard the sound distinctly in my head in this dream, and it sounded like it was in a parking garage or some big cement place. I just heard that reverberation and it really stuck with me. It really moved me. And so as I got older and played some guitar, a few other instruments, I started picking up the harp and I just I just took to it. I, I don't really know why. <laughs> Having a talented mother who played in the church and a father who could sing and, and play some instruments as well, uh, there wasn't really a time when I didn't know about uh, playing music. But then going through life and uh, trying some new things, uh, it wasn't until I came across some, some adversity and was not uh, digging the place I was in in life. And every time I would uh, put some headphones on and listen to music to try to change my, my mind and attitude a little bit, music always came through for me, even after all these years. Like it always helped out. And I just decided to, uh, to go for it. So it was really just following it and having some faith that just the action of doing something that you really believed in and that you, you had some heart about would open the opportunities that are around the corner that you couldn't see quite yet. And on I roll. The greatest uh, influence on the record was a girl I met on the train going into New Orleans, and she was a native New Orleans girl. And so she had all of her favorite hot spots, and uh, we just happily went around town and had a great time and listened to a ton of music. And so how New Orleans really affected it, uh, it was through listening to the brass on the streets, through having a great time with the local hosts. And uh, the spirit of that city just never dies. It's like, it is always a good time. It definitely uh, has a, um, a Chicago flavor to it, and I, and I am proud of that. There's uh, some harmonica tone which really came out of the city. Not only do the songs tell a story of my trip, uh, they really just kind of echo the American landscape. If I had to pick one reason for people to invest in this campaign and to buy my record, it would be to help support the individual creative artists and the spirit that surrounds that. It's valuable to look inside yourself, look into your past, see what's made you what you are, and use that to bring out your music. Fly. 